Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Brighter Shores and what you can be doing on release day. So this is going to be my last video that's kind of under an embargo, so I'm excited to get away from just beating around the bush on some of these topics. But I do want to say, you know, there's a couple things you should know going into the game that uh, you might want to kind of take advantage of just knowing this will help you a lot and progress you a lot faster than when I, you know, jumped in here blind. So the first thing I want to quickly say is if you don't want any kind of spoilers or anything, make sure to jump out of the video. But if you do, you're in the right spot because I'm going to try to kind of help you through on what the progression looks like and kind of how to progress pretty quickly through this game. So the first thing I'm going to say is obviously main story. This is going to be the quickest way and it's kind of in my beginner's guide that I'll be posting tomorrow as well is the main story is a huge part of this game. That's the whole part of this game is really, you know, as they call them episodes, it feels like a story game with so much content actually outside of the story. So you don't have to continue to follow the story, but that story is going to bring you to new areas and unlock new things. So definitely follow that main story. It's going to be a huge part of the game. Obviously, anytime you are potentially level locked as you have not the level requirements to continue to make sure you're taking advantage of the early levels get every skill to maybe level 10 level 15 um, and this will really help you with level requirements down the road another thing to quickly mention is that this game has so many opportunities for learning professions in different ways take advantage of that it's a very fun way to actually learn the game and it really doesn't have and i've checked this many times there's not too many ways to earn more xp uh, doing one thing rather than the other. They're not significant. So earn XP in any way you find fun and uh, take advantage of the uh, you know XP methods being somewhat similar in XP per hour. So next thing I really want to talk about is settings. So if you actually go to your settings, you're going to have privacy settings and basically you're not going to be able to see anybody's name. They're not going to be able to see your name. You're not going to be able to chat with anybody until you put your date of birth in. Definitely do that right away. It's going to be a quick way to actually see and feel actually a part of the game. Because if you load in and you don't change your privacy settings, you're not going to see anybody's text. You're not going to see anybody's name. They're not going to be able to see your name. It's not a very fun experience and not a really social experience at the very least. So definitely go into your privacy settings and put your date of birth in so you can change all these privacy settings to basically uh, ignore the privacy <laughs> so you can actually see people's names and they can talk to you and add you as a friend and all of that stuff another thing i want to quickly go back to is that uh, idea of getting all of your professions up to about 10 to 15 just so you have an overall decent total level it's going to help you prep for the future um, when you need, like I said, those level requirements for, you know, whatever quest they may be. Another thing to quickly mention when I, you know, talked about this earlier is don't rush to these episodes, uh, do the main story, get the level requirements, but you don't need to rush because like I said, you're going to have things restricting you occasionally along the way, either way. So it's not a big deal to take your time and get there slowly. But I will say there's a lot of different unique professions along the way. So it's fun to kind of see what's all there and kind of, you know, really experience the entire world. Another thing to kind of quickly prepare you guys is if you want guides, if you want tips and tricks, I'm going to be releasing guides, tips and tricks, uh, you know, XP per hour differences and methods, all these things. If you want efficiency, if you want guides, if you want tips, it's all going to be here on the channel. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. But I do want to talk a little bit more about this game when it comes to free to play versus membership. This is a big one for me. And I've, I've tried to explain this in previous videos, but I don't know if people all understand this. It takes a little bit of time to get to episode three. So unless you really, really want a name, a unique name at the start of the game and you want to make sure it's not taken, there is no need to get premium. You should wait a couple days at the very least and extend your premium for as long as possible by uh, you know waiting a couple days. This is just going to save you a little bit of money. I mean, it's not a lot of money because the membership is very, very fairly priced. I, I do want to say, though, if you really want to rush into episode three, it's still going to take you a couple days. I also want to say there is a way late game to actually change your name in the game. Um, it's in episode four. There's actually going to be a spot where you can change your name. This is something that you should know because I don't want you guys loading in as a name you don't really like and then launching with that name and then you know, you're just playing as a free-to-play player and you can never actually change it. I don't believe you can change your name without getting membership and getting to episode four. So just keep that in mind. Um, so take advantage of that if you are going to be somebody that's going to get to episode four and you want to change your name. Get to episode four, change your name right when you get there. Another thing that you're going to get with membership, obviously, like we said, is you can change your dyes. You can do dyeing your clothes. Um, I honestly haven't even played around with that too much yet. I've been too focused on just enjoying the experience overall. 
But uh, if you are a big person that loves cosmetics and the way you look, obviously that could be a reason to get membership early as well. And the very last thing I want to quickly mention is we've seen in previous videos, but I don't know if everyone realizes this, you get a little bit of an XP boost or a bonus as soon as you actually collect a new card. And what we mean by that is if you have never forged a specific node and you'd forge it for the first time, you're going to actually gain additional XP that first time. So take advantage of that as well when you're walking around the world. One thing we also know is that teleporting is in the game and we know also that these do not come with cooldowns. So you should take advantage of this as much as possible to get around quickly with the map. And I think you guys should understand that this is going to be a huge, huge deal to efficiently get around the map. Um, the map isn't massive. It's big enough to where if you utilize this, it's going to help you significantly. But that's pretty much all I want to talk about when it comes to how to prepare yourself for the launch of Brighter Shores and how to actually kind of get your way through there. Uh, there's going to be a lot more guides and tips and tricks coming tomorrow with the actual content on the screen and everything you need to actually know about the game. But this is just trying to avoid talking about things I can't talk about and at the same time giving you guys information on how and what to kind of be prepared for as well as what to look for. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully you guys are also as hyped as I am for the release of Brighter Shores and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We will be posting a lot of content in the days to come.